Hello, I hope you have a coffee mug full. Now we're gonna start doing Katya V5 basics. First, you wanna start a new part. File, new, and list of types, select part. Okay. Uh, if you have a your monitor full or screen full, like a big size like that, you will notice that uh, when you create a new path, Katya doesn't close those others, but they will be here. So you might end up having 10 small paths. So if I show you, I create a second one, file new. It could be any form path, assembly, drawing. Okay. I have two now. These, are good. These screens are good to use, or windows good to use when you have assembly on the bottom and part on the top or either way around, and you can track them between. But in this exercise, let's just keep a one part. First, I'll show you what you have here. You have first here a specification tree or history tree, and then your actual part axis in there. Part axis is, uh, in my case, is automatically created. You can change that in option here, tools and uh, options, where you can change uh, different what the Katya will does autom uh, do automatically for you. Like in my case, it's every time when I create part, it creates me part axis. What is a good option to do? Also, under tools, it's a good to go and you customize. There you can get a uh, tool path, restore all contents, OK, and restore all positions. Because you end up tracking them around in here by holding them down and doing moving your part. Uh, tools and so on, and then you don't find them anywhere where they should be. Okay, now uh, what I found unknown is how the specification tree first behaves. If you double click it, it uh, inactivates your part, and when you zoom, your specification tree zooms. That's how it is designed. But you don't activate your part by double clicking it. Okay, you activate your part by Click in your specification tree, okay. Then it works okay. So that's a small quirk what I found. Okay. And let's start, if you want to start doing some parts here, let's start putting some uh, bodies inside of our parts. So we go insert and insert body. And there we go. I click the body active. When it's uh, underlined like that, that means that it's an active part or body. Now, in right hand side you will see there's a sketch window. There's a sketch, so the basic sketch, you choose some plane and start sketching, or position sketch. Now we just use the normal sketch. Position sketch is that when you want to uh, position with the vertical horizontal axis you sketch and do a little bit more advanced. That's just that. normal. That is as well as good to do it in this way. I select the set Y axis and Katya aligns it for me. Now. I can draw something there. Let's draw circle. Uh, let's put some dimension there straight away. Diameter, let's say 50 millimeter. And I say OK. And I exit sketch and I create a pad out from it. Here we go. We got the type, dimension, you got different options. I say 200 millimeter is a good for the pad. And selection is a sketch one. You can go and edit that if you want. Okay, I say that's all right. I exit this again. Okay, you have a thickness option where you can actually say it comes, you know, like a surface or thickness of the shell of it. So you could make a pipe in that way or mirrored extent, what goes in both way from your sketch. But I just still basic and normal to profile. There you go. There's your first model done. Now, when we have a part, we can show you some uh, mouse manipulation. So, if you press your middle mouse button down, you can pan your part around. If you press and hold your middle mouse button, and then click your left hand side button, a cursor changes to the arrow double-sided arrow and you can zoom in and out. If you hold your left hand side button, you can rotate your part. Same happens with the right hand side button. If you click your right hand side button, you can have uh, other options there. 
You can do these similar operations by clicking these buttons on the bottom of the screen. Rotate, zoom in, zoom out, and normal view. And then fit all in, center, and so on. But middle mouse button, hold it. Click hit a button on the side of it, and you can zoom around. And just click and hold it. You can pan 